fascinating Hong Kong, the Asian legend and a boomtown. Mobility is everything, and who would know better than these gentlemen? <laughs> Two laser scientists and a train specialist, and their trailblazing development. Professor H. Y. Tam, Professor S. L. Ho, and Dr. Michael Liu. They have followed the road to success together, perseverant, curious, and with fighting spirit. Their inspiration also comes from national hero Bruce Lee. And I like uh, Kung Fu, and he was the biggest uh, Kung Fu star at the time. I think he's very passionate about the Chinese martial arts. I think we, we, we also have uh, the same type of mentality. We are serious, we are loyal to ourselves. Any more parallels, Professor Ho? No, but we are not womanizer. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> the Hong Kong Polytechnic University in Kowloon. Here they developed a unique laser sensor network for monitoring trains. The goal was to make train travel safer. Basic here are glass fibers, which they make themselves. Only a few institutions in China have their own fiber drawing towers. Sometimes we use spatial type of optical fiber. And uh, this tower, this facility allows us to make different type of uh, optical fiber and then use the optical fiber as an optical sensor. The principle behind the idea, optical sensor measurement with so-called fiber bra gratings. A special laser prints a grating inside the fiber. It acts as a highly sensitive reflector, reflecting single wavelengths. This laser has the wavelength that is very effective in making a sensor inside the fiber. Okay. So the fiber is actually photosensitive, but it requires the right wavelength. So the laser that we have is actually have a wavelength at 193 um, nanometer. So, so that's why this technology is very useful, because I can have one fiber, I can make a sensor here, or I can, I can make a second sensor here, the third sensor here. That's why this technology is very good for monitoring railway system. Tiny sensors that monitor the entire rail network. The Hong Kong Metro already profits from this system. Early detection of defects permits timely maintenance of the trains affected. Yeah, so after all the trains have passed, then you can see a summary of the 12 cars. And the vibration index will appear soon. In civil engineering, fiber bra grading sensors are state-of-the-art technology. Light is reflected by the sensor. If the physical parameters change, then the wavelength of the reflected light will change. Measurement data can be extracted. Brilliantly simple, simply brilliant. This simple device, it can measure a lot of parameters, including what we call the view rail interface. So we can tell from the interaction between the view and rail whether there's some excessive vibration, and we can even measure the weight of the train, whether the train is running smoothly, whether the train needs maintenance, whether there's a danger for the train. Glass fibers and FBG sensors are not electrically conductive and thus tolerant against lightning and electromagnetic noise. This is ideal for an intelligent train monitoring system. The innovative technology can be integrated into existing systems, even high-speed trains. Another half actually is train borne. We have the sensor and the equipment, everything on the train. So for the track system, we, we look at the train. And for the train system, we look at the track. It's just like scanner. Scan the track, the performance of the track, all the way. Advantages are lower repair costs, more data, and above all, more safety. At first, it start from the toy train here. <laughs> a toy train, certainly thought-provoking. Not easy now. Oh, okay, now you see, that's a problem, derailment. <laughs> From the playful approach to market maturity. So this is uh, uh, an example. So this is a, basically is a commercial system. So it's completed with all the measurement uh, equipment here, a computer displays. The next step is uh, we're going to form a company, okay, mm. to uh, commercialize um, more of this type of system. India, Singapore and Australia are showing interest. This is a marvelous success for the three scientists, who always travel exclusively with public transit. Ten years of intense research have welded them together. How well do they know each other? Hardworking, so it's very useful. <laughs> HY also is very hardworking. 
but it's less boring than me. <laughs> you see, I told you uh, during lunch time. <laughs> I said he's more boring than me. <laughs> no, I'm the boring. <laughs> I'm the most boring one. Not them. Most certainly not. They're inspiring. And their next goal? Together with some other senses, I'm hoping that we can really develop a fully smart system and that can be applied uh, all over the world, including Germany. <laughs>